Welcome back to Force Education, this is Ed. Today I'm going to be talking about Givo once again. You'll find my previous DD in the description below if you'd like to watch that one after this one. Make sure to drop a like to this video to help this channel grow, subscribe and leave your notifications on. At any point, if you feel you're missing out on the technical indicators here, you'll find playlists in the description below that explains each of these indicators and what they mean. Let's jump right into it. So, going through first technical analysis and then news and then what I think about the stock for myself. Uh, we get to see here on the MACD, it has seen a really nice run. Although it seems somewhere around the 4th of September, it did see a little bit of resistance there and subsequently dropped down on the MACD. So this is a bearish sign that we get to see. Although the stock seems to be really oversold at this point, which could be a sign for at least a small bounce there. Momentum seems to be recovering just a little from what it did, from it did uh, the day before. And on the moving averages here, we get to see something... Um, that a little bit looks bearish and bullish at the same time. I'll explain that in a second. But before doing so, the ADX does support this very strong indication that a negative trend is strong. Now, on the moving averages here, we get to see the blue line, the 200 SMA, is above the stock price. I'm zooming here as well a little bit more. We get to see the 10 SMA is above the 30 MA. The green line is above the red line. That is bullish, but the 200 SMA being above is bearish. The stock being below the trading action zone that is as well bearish, but the stock is above the 50 SMA, the purple line, that is bullish. So it really looks rough on the one hour, oh, sorry, on the one day scale. Now let's try to look a little bit into the one hour perspective. On the one hour perspective, we get to see the MACD is curving up, and we might actually see a little bit of green sometime tomorrow, at least in the pre-market alone. But it looks like it's tending towards testing and reversal here. On the William percent R, it's sitting at a neutral, a little bit oversold, and on the ADX, it shows in that the trend is almost over for the negative trend here. So it looks bullish on the one hour perspective when it comes into technical indicators. Let's look at the moving averages. So the moving averages here are full out bearish. It's above the 200 SMA, sorry, it's below the 200 SMA, below the 50 SMA, 30 EMA is above the 10 SMA and below the trading action zone and below VWAP. So it's bearish all around in the moving averages on the one hour scale. Taking a quick look into the moving average band, you get to see it's expected to trade between 92 cents and the 103 cents. Although this moving average does not hold any uh, significance at this point just because of the massive jump it did receive. Now Fibonacci retracements and try to identify what the next significant move is for this company. So we get to see that there is a significant support at the 104 for Fibonacci retracements. Now, if we do move the 100, uh, the 293 all the way to 161.8, we do see basically uh, another support sitting at the 82 cent that is significant, and we're still seeing the 103, 104 resistance. Now, let's try to signify, let's try to identify uh, the significant supports and resistances that we're expecting it for it to stay above there. There is a significant resistance sitting at the 91 cent, and then a significant support sitting at the 88 cents. So this 88 cent support is the lowest it has been ever since the massive jump. So below there, that could signify an end of a rally. Now there is another support significant at the 77 cents. Above there at the 80 cents. Below the 77, we're looking at 74. Below the 74, we're looking at the 70 cents. Now significant resistances here, other than the one mentioned, we're talking about the dollar, dollar 01. And then dollar 03 and then above there dollar 09 and then right above there we're looking at dollar 14 of course there is a dollar 10 and then we're looking at dollar 18 and so you get the picture now let's take a quick look into news so one of the latest news um, here is the business update they have released not a long time ago that was yesterday uh, in the morning so Kivo raised around 46 million dollars net of expense uh, of expenses from a registered director offering and approximately 16, 16 million as a result of foreign exercise so basically givo has uh registered or sorry pursue a licensing and developing strategy that is expecting to enable the construction of up to three production facilities and capacity expansions the production facilities and expansions are needed to provide the product required under its existing and expected future take or pay uh, uh, takeoff agreement. The licensed developer strategy should reduce or eliminate the need for Givo construction capital by utilizing project level debt and third party equity. 
Evo continues to seek a targeted capital raise of $200 million of project level equity using a project financing structure to build up to three production facilities. The first expanded production facility or project is expected to be located at Givo's current production facility located in Minnesota. As previously announced, Givo engaged in Citigroup Global Market Citigroup to lead process to develop the three projects and procure capital needed by Givo to build up to three uh, production facilities. Givo expected will take approximately one year to develop and close financing to the, pro uh, the first project. Assuming Givo successfully closes on, on a financing in the next 12 months, Givo would expect production of hydrocarbon fuels from the first project in late 2023 to 2024. This looks all amazing and they have $81, $81 million in cash. They have regained compliance that I did mention in my last video, but and what is the next catalyst? This one is drowning quick. So they do have one, uh, two single, two events, uh, the HHC 22nd Annual Group uh, Global Investment Conference, and then we have the Business Aviation Sustainability Summit. This one I'm very excited about. This one is on September 14th, 2020, and basically it's on uh, the Aero News Network as well. It is going on from 10 a.m. to 12:30 a.m. on Monday, and you get to see here that going to come in from the panel at 11:40 a.m. Evo will take that panel from the chief commercial officer. Now, the second one HC having uh sorry, wing right. So, we're looking at September 14th to 16th. So, that is the next catalyst. Now, Ed, what do you think of the stock and where do you think it's going to be moving? Now, below the 88 cents, it really breaks down the trend. And below the dollar, I did tell you before, to try to have your stop limit below the dollar. So, the expectation is that a lot of people have been already stopped out but what do i think about it below the 88 cents it really would break the trend i mean you're looking all the way back to i would say the next significant support on the previous level is closer to 66 cents so you're talking about another uh potential of something very close to even 30 percent down now do i think this is going to happen probably not for the long term i mean there is catalyst coming up on monday and in the next week so that might see a little bit of a jump uh market has been a little bit rough lately and this one really took a beating with a bunch of red days and then on, on the green day it flopped uh there is a lot of uh, what it looks like manipulation with this stock so it's a little bit of a tricky one so it is hard to give one single rating that would be able to work for all i said on the long term because this one does seem to have really good future but it looks like it's all the way all the way probably to 2022 or something that is a hold uh, if you're looking to trade this one uh, it's a little bit of a rough situation now I do consider that maybe I will start seeing a little bit of a bounce but it needs a day or two where you look at the MACD and you get to see uh, that it kind of curves it up on the one day perspective but for the time being I wouldn't consider uh, it a buy um, but it could be possibly hold so I'm gonna give back to uh, speculative hold what do you think about this sticker? Make sure you mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and you have a wonderful day.